Are you tired of people breaking the rules and getting nothing for it? This video is for you. Just the best examples of this year's karma. Enjoy the video. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only, and I would be happy to respond to your comments below the video. White Ben speeds at a high rate of speed, cutting in and out of traffic aggressively, only to be pulled over by a police car. Thank goodness there were police around to catch this person. Aggressive and impatient driving behavior has no place on our roads and needs to have the license revoked. If you are an impatient and aggressive driver, do not drive. The driver of a white Volkswagen Tiguan decided to save three minutes and bypass traffic on the oncoming lane and turned out to his yard. But he didn't notice the police who saw it all. The, uh, the Note the Mazda in front and tailgating the white Hyundai. The right see what happens next. So we can kind of see a cross section of what it would have looked like for the Confederates. So the, the Confederates, as I mentioned, uh, dug these trenches and built up these these earthen mounds that they could hide. Oh, oh, my, God. The oh my God! Uh, oh my God! 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 When the driver of the Skoda drove around all over the traffic and thought if he tried to cut back in fast, he would definitely be let through, but he met a very worthy opponent. Just before the light changes for me, this guy decides to roll through his red light. Unfortunately for him, there was a state trooper looking for an easy ticket. The rest is self-explanatory. <laughs> The driver of the truck ran a red light right in front of the police. This is a classic car driver on a handheld cell phone not paying attention that needed to get off at his exit and thought he had the truck clearance, which he stated in his own words. He forgot that when changing lanes in front of another truck, he must yield right of way, which he did not. Still not paying attention, he then struck the truck while still on his handheld cell phone. Camera shot was clear of his driver on a handheld cell phone and also clear of the driver not wearing a seatbelt. Another cheater decided to bypass the traffic, but now in the bus lane and got what he deserved.
This is a speeder passing several cars and finding out that doing so got him nowhere. At about 10 seconds, you will see a white car pass me. The speed limit was 45 and I was only going 38 or so because I had just stopped at a stoplight. Now for all those people commenting on it's no big deal and about speeding and that was about a $200 ticket in this area, is getting a ticket worth 15 seconds of your time? The driver of the black car decided to overtake several cars at once while violating the road marking. Note the red car crossing the intersection at a red light. This video starts with a Nissan driver deciding to avoid the traffic on the side of the road and turn first. But he forgot that trucks have blind spots. After that, the truck driver simply did not notice the Nissan in front of him for some distance. I think after that, the violator wouldn't go around the traffic anymore. Another case of getting into the blind spot and acting recklessly. In a half mile, take exit 24, lower as is a road, Los Angeles Street and then turn left in 0 0.3 miles. The driver of the Renault decided to overtake drivers where overtaking is not allowed. At the same time, he did not know that all of this was being observed by police officers. The white truck was being an idiot then speeds past on the right, decides it's not worth it to move to the left lane when zoom in past two cops, a car, and a bus on the shoulder. The cop upholds the law of requiring motorists to slow down or move over to the left lane by pulling this guy over so fast. I love it. The truck was traveling in the left lane until the last possible moment and then decided to aggressively move back into the lane, but he did not notice the car and caused the accident. The driver of the BMW tailgates a Range Rover in front of a police officer for an unknown reason. 
instant karma. The driver of the truck decided to turn from the second lane and he did not even try to make sure that the maneuver was safe. He was responsible for the accident. We had construction and a semi truck was coming onto the road and we noticed the tiny little white car was weaving around. So this guy decided to fire up his only surviving brain cell to whip around and drop down into the surface removed lane to show that semi who was the boss of the road. Instead, he realizes too late that he was approaching a 90 degree, five inch tall edge and goes airborne. All four tires were destroyed and this likely totaled his car. The white Ford did not want to finish overtaking in time and continued overtaking while already in the upcoming lane. He did not realize that the police were driving behind him and could see it all. While testing out my new dash cam, I caught this incident of a Honda speeding past me that picked the wrong time to floor it with an unmarked sheriff's deputy nearby. The Volkswagen read a red light and then decided to cut the author off, for which he got, he deserved. Cheating drivers were massively avoiding the traffic jam. A truck driver and a couple of other drivers decided to stop this and close the roadside with their cars. A couple of cars decided to get revenge and bypass them through the gas station. What happened next? See in the video. The face of the guy driving on the side of the road is not too happy anymore. Who is really at fault at the beginning of the conflict is up to you to decide, but the Kia driver decided to teach the author a lesson, no matter what it took.
Tailgater and Mazda got upset because I braked. Pulled up next to us, cursing and yelling. But what happened next was something no one expected. Pull up next to me. What's up? Let's go where? Instant karma for a Dodge Challenger. I was on a long entrance ramp when I noticed the Wisconsin State Patrol merging from another on-ramp behind me. I slowed down to the speed limit and the State Patrol followed me for about a mile. A Dodge Challenger came cruising up, completely oblivious of the state patrol officer. He accelerated to change lanes right next to the officer, who had already had a bead on him. The officer pulled up behind him with lights and sirens going. The driver of the Volkswagen got tired of waiting and decided to overtake the author and a couple of buses despite the prohibited road signs. Notice the red car that has been moving too close to the SUV all this time. Further down the road, there's a policeman on the side of the road, but since the red car is still driving too close, it doesn't see it and gets karma almost immediately. The driver of the white sedan was offended that the truck driver wouldn't let him drive on the side of the road and decided to teach him a lesson. Another speeder got what he deserved. It seems calculated to discourage any effort to try and live the way God wants us to live. You're gonna go flying past the cop, you idiot! Ha ha! Ha That was stupid. The plaque sedan decided to cheat and go around traffic on the side of the road. But he did notice the police car a couple cars behind him. The motorcyclist also decided to bypass the traffic jam, but the police were already waiting for them around the corner. The driver of the Mazda drove past the queue for the turn and decided he was the smartest. After the turn, he tried to teach the bus driver a lesson. 
but he chose the wrong victim. Note the motorcyclist traveling on the left. Coming into Rockford, Alabama, a car passed three of us doing the speed limit, but was seen by a police officer coming down out of town. The cop didn't turn around, but just radio ahead. On the north side of Rockford, justice was served. This Tundra drives into oncoming traffic and finds out you can't reverse pit an EV. The driver was either distracted or did not see the light signal, but he ran a red light right in front of a police car. Going southbound on I-59 in Jones County, I was going 70 miles per hour and a sheriff passed me. I pulled out behind him and marched at his speed of 85 miles per hour. Then a blue Toyota passes both of us and gets pulled over. The driver of the Lexus decided to avoid the traffic jam right at the intersection, for which he got instant karma.
Jeep Grand Cherokee served instant karma for speeding. Another red light runner, but he did it all right in front of the police. Such a violation is punishable by a, a license suspension. Another karma for the speeding fan. The cab driver decided to save 10 minutes and bypass the traffic jam on the opposite side of the road, but he did not notice the police crew behind him. The speed limit is 65 here, and you can see from my dash cam, I locked in at 70. I had others passing me up. But this guy was the fastest yet. The trooper was really moving up to catch to him. All right. So, all right, let's go over to the House of Representatives. Are they doing anything over there? We've got Byron Kelly, and so shout out to Greg Kelly. The driver overtook the author where he shouldn't have. The police were already waiting for him. Incident karma for a red light runner, he immediately realized what he had done and stopped almost immediately. Another driver drove around traffic in the oncoming lane and got what he deserved. The driver of the Tesla crossed two lanes without turning on his turn signal. A policeman in a charger was watching him the entire time. No signal. Dude, I hope they get that Tesla. The BMW didn't like the fact that the truck was driving on the outside lane, so he decided to teach him a lesson. But during his maneuvers, he forgot that he was about to leave the road, and he went into the corner too fast and crashed into the guardrail.
It was roughly 1 a.m., and I was on my way home after dropping my brother off for work at Amazon. I was heading north on 95 when a white sports car flew right past me, nearly clipping my left side. At the time, I was going 80 in the passing lane, and the culprit merged into the carpool lane and had to be going between 95 to 100 miles per hour. I was keeping my distance because I knew there was an LV MPD Explorer ahead of me. This guy didn't realize it until it was too late. The conflict begins when the driver of the car did not like the fact that the truck was traveling in the middle lane, but he chose to target the wrong truck driver for revenge. I thought this Silverado was driving dangerously. I myself was doing allegedly 65 to 70 on this road, where the speed limit is 55. My speedometer is about 10% too optimistic, and he was about 10 miles per hour faster. The white pickup sped up past the red charger, forcing the deputy off the road. Mount Rose Highway, passing is not legal here. A Washoe County Sheriff's Office deputy ran off the road into the light snow. He made a U-turn and then initiated a traffic stop on the white pickup. The driver of the blue car decided to go right from the lane from which it is not allowed. He was very surprised at what happened. Driver with dash cam was stopped in the left turn lane, waiting for emergency vehicles to either pass or potentially turn left in front of them. Oncoming traffic was stopped to let emergency vehicles turn left if needed. The car behind the driver, also in the left turn lane, leaned on the horn, then got impatient, pulled around from behind the driver with the dash cam, illegally onto the road on the left. A police detail trailing emergency vehicles witnessed the craziness and felt compelled to break off from the original emergency call to pull over this driver. Cat is about to break them. Does it bother you? She asked. The driver of the Mazda drove around the traffic and then decided to cut in front of the author. Another fan of speed got what he deserved. A speeding trucker was caught by a police officer. Guy driving the wrong way Saturday night in Atlanta happened to me before, so I can't get too mad. We're in need of podcast. 
The driver of the Kia Stinger did not realize that a police officer was already waiting for him behind the truck. There was a major break in the case and it came forth to law enforcement, which prompted them to search this pecan orchard and um, they made two arrests for terrorist murder. So it, it was a, a huge story and um, it's bizarre because when I first got involved, it was kind of like this sort of um, part of the town that people didn't want to talk about this anymore at all. They were um, afraid to mention people's names. The Honda Civic driver didn't like the other white car cutting him off. So he started to have road rage and the police pulled him over. Had a BMW tailgate me for about 10 minutes. Zooms past me because I'm going the speed limit in the fast lane. I don't have to explain why the driver of the Dodge Durango is getting a ticket. The motorist decided to go around the traffic jam on the side of the road. After a while, a policeman was waiting for him on the same side of the road. The driver of the Dodge Caravan thought he was driving a sports car. Fortunately, everyone was wearing a seatbelt and was unharmed. Another traffic jumper got what he deserved. I'm convinced this happened due to inexperience. Didn't look to me like the kid was on the phone. He tried to pass me on the right while I'm about to pass the trailer on the right. He squeezed in way too early. Thankfully, he was fine. No more than a nosebleed due to airbag impact. Notice the Prius clearly speeding right in front of the police.
The driver of the Lexus decided to ignore the traffic sign and drove straight ahead from a lane where you could only go left. He did not know that a police unit was practically behind him. Best thing I have seen in a while. The van did not make sure the maneuver was safe and cut the author off. But the story didn't end there. After a couple of miles, he decided to pick a fight. <laughs> However, after using a gas spray, this desire disappeared. The Lamborghini wiggled all the way between lanes, and when it got into a traffic jam, it decided to go around it on the side of the road, but the police were already behind it. You can't see well here, but there's a police car in front of the author. The driver of the Toyota runs a red light in front of him. The owner of the Honda did not have the patience to wait for the allowed place for overtaking and decided to overtake through a solid line of markings. This driver was crazy. It looks far less frightening in a video than it felt in real life. I truly thought he was going to kill someone. Before I sped it up to clickable speeds, it transpired over about 10 minutes in real time. Most likely the driver of the red pickup truck is drunk. As soon as he got ahead of the author a second time and started swerving down the road again, the author called 911 and corrected them on where and what was going on. Three minutes later, the police officer was already behind the drunk driver.
agree Kia almost caused a tragedy and then ignore the police for some time. And another typical finale of a speeding fan. I will be grateful for every like and comment under this video. Thank you very much.